I wanted to start this vlog because the time has come again. Okay, like it's time to get these planners made, to launch the planner and it is an interesting feeling. So I have procrastinated for as long as possible, not for any other reason, they're really just getting in my own way. It's like I can recognize exactly what's going on and I think because they did pretty well last year, um, I think I just kind of have gotten in my head a little bit. Plus, I'm trying to make changes and different things like that. And so if you are wondering what I'm even talking about, I launched a business planner last year for the first time. That's basically what I have to say about that. So I will have a planner coming again. Um, it is in the works and it's something that you can expect next year. So that's all I'm going to say about that. But Running my own business has opened up so many opportunities for me to do things I've dreamed of. But with those things, it's been some of the scariest things I've done and been the most fearful of. This is my planner, you guys. This is the Live Love Inspired Business Planner by the Stationary Muse by Tatiana. I'm really, really proud of it. It's launch day, you guys. It's been a continuous game of putting myself out there and with the second year of releasing my planner, this is one of my biggest dreams, but I really just need to get out of my own way. All right, so I'm sitting here watching one of my favorite YouTubers, by the way, Carolyn Nell. I don't know if y'all watch her, but I really like her channel. I have like five people that I watch regularly and she's definitely on my top <laughs> list of YouTubers. But uh, I didn't realize how stressful it would be to come back a second time with the planner because I want it to be good. I want to make people happy. But I also know just from experience that you can't make everybody happy. And I'm just sitting here looking at this layout. I've been working on this layout for at least the last month or so. I like it. I don't know why I'm just like nervous, like, will other people like it? I mean, I think, I think it's pretty good. So I basically did a survey and I wanted to just kind of get feedback from people that have been using the planner. So a few people responded back like a handful of people, it was more than a few, a decent amount of people responded back and gave their feedback and stuff. I might even go back and revisit it again and see if I'm missing anything from when I looked at it. I just want people to like it. And I know one of the main things, and even it's great too, because you know, like I've been using my planner as well. And so there's stuff that I'm like, oh, I wish that it had this and I wish that this was better. So I'm also, using some of my own feedback as well just from using it now it's just it's kind of stressful because i just want it to be good this is the new weekly layout i'm pretty sure i'm actually going to be debuting this layout later this week but i've just been staring at it and i'm like do i like it it's got the same this is all the same from the previous version of the planner like that hasn't changed but what's new is like this whole content planning section because I thought that it was important. I'm always in here and I'm like, oh, I would love a place to kind of break out my content and stuff like that. That's a little bit more separate from my schedule and things of that nature. So now there's a dedicated place to plan out content. And then there's also a place for you to just do your regular week stuff. And so I think this is good. I really like it and I love that this is now its own page because this is actually the old layout in here, y'all. This is what it used to look like. So basically it shared a page with this. There was no content planning. And then this side, like I said, is all the same. So I think I'm just kind of in my head a little bit, but I do really like it. Um, and then I'm also going to have these pages here, which is pretty much the same. This one's the same. This is new. I moved this section to the back page. So it's kind of like a review type of thing. So 
Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave this to say social media. I'm still deciding, finalizing some last stuff. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with it. So I think this is the only thing I'm stuck on is do I want this to still just say social media? I mean, it would be cool for like tracking purposes, I guess, or just to see whatever maybe like if there's a goal you're trying to reach or something but I'm feeling like maybe social media might not be the best but maybe just I might just change it to just say tracking or I don't really know yet so I need to figure that part out but other than that I think I like it all right getting ready to go live and share the new covers I'm excited <laughs> Hey, happy, happy Wednesday. I love Inspire Planner. I'm so excited for this collection, this line that is gonna be releasing on October 21st. Somebody say, don't be afraid of love yourself, cause that is The Mint family, all of that stuff. And so the teal stripe is going to be one of the brand new covers. Okay. Whew. Talking a little low because Emery is napping and oh my god, this light. Okay, hold on. Let's let it come back. Come back. Come back. Okay. So I've been sharing with you guys that there's like some different versions of the planner. I don't even know what I filmed at this point, but all I know is that my laminator is here because I'm going to be doing a disc bound version of the planner. That is one of the options that's gonna be available. And y'all, and y'all, the laminator is right here. It's kind of heavy, so I'm gonna carry it up. I'm gonna open and show you guys. I also got my punch as well. Um, and I'm gonna show you the discs that I'm gonna be using as well for this. So the only thing I'm waiting on now is the 10 millimeter laminating sheets. Okay, don't judge me. I'm using Emery's preschool scissors to cut everything open because I think mine are downstairs. I don't know why, I have like the worst problem with keeping up with scissors. I have so many and like can never find any. I have pretty much everything. I don't have the actual laminating sheets, but I can still use the ones that I have. I have some five millimeter ones here and I can just use those just so that I can get a feel of what this whole thing is gonna look like. All right, so it's here. It's heavy. <laughs> the styrofoam broke while I was trying to get it out. So I had to flip the box upside down. It looks pretty good. So I'm gonna definitely probably test it out either today or tomorrow to just see but I am excited because I have been getting requests to have disc bound so now I am almost on my way there and then I also have the actual discs themselves I'm gonna open up one of these packs so you guys can see these are really cute the only thing is they're kind of small but I'm planning on what I'm planning to do I think anyway I think I'm gonna do a bundle with the disc bound where you'll be able to get it um, and then you can just kind of split it up and maybe do six months at a time or something like that. But you won't obviously be able to have the whole planner in there because these are only, I think they're like one inch size, but they're so cute. They have these little gold specks on them. If you guys can kind of see that. I don't know if it's coming up gold or silver looking, but they are gold in there. And I just think that that's a really cute little detail. So that is gonna be those, but I need to really get on the ball with like trying all of this stuff out to just make sure I like everything and all of that. Um, now that I'm kind of getting out of my head, I'm at this point, I'm just excited and ready to get it going. The announcement of the covers went really well as you guys saw in a previous clip so that's really good tomorrow i'm actually going to be sharing the changes to the inside layout and i think it's pretty much finalized at this point there was a couple more things that i ended up changing throughout the planner but i've been went through it this morning i'm going to go through it again today and i'm going to print off some stuff here yeah so it's coming together. This has been an interesting ride for sure, but I'm just grateful for the opportunity to even be able to do this again. So yeah. I don't 
talking to myself like someone's gonna respond I'm getting tired of myself cause I don't know what I want But I'm not out here on my own all right, so we just left out of the printing place that I've been working with here and I'm excited. So one of the things that I'm releasing is a monthly planner. And this is something that I have been wanting to do for years, honestly, like years. And so finally I was like, you know, let me just go there, see what they have, figure out if it's something I can do. And I think we decided on our texture. He gave me this as kind of like a sample of something else they did, but it's like this felt texture finish for the covers so I'm gonna do that and it's gonna be in a saddle stitch so I'm gonna go home draft everything up and send him like the final stuff so that I can get the quotes and everything and then we can get the ball rolling because I'm definitely a little late to the game in this process just due to um, just life y'all I've kind of shared a little bit about the delay that I had with everything but now I'm moving along so we're getting that together um, and that was a good meeting. Emmer, did you have fun in there? Yeah. Did you like it in there? Yeah. Yeah? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Do you know what day is today? It's Monday. No. It's Friday. No. It's Tuesday. No. It's Saturday. No. Monday. It's Wednesday. 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 We're learning our days of the week. She pretty much knows them all, but like when you actually know like what day is today, we're working on that. So yeah, but we're gonna head back home now. I actually forgot my purse, so fingers crossed. Don't get pulled over on the way back. All right, so it's been some days now. Just due to try not to spread myself thin, do too much at once, and just take my own advice, I'm gonna do the monthly planner as a Black Friday special. And then of course whatever is left will be left but i think that's what i'm going to do because i'm working with my printer here and it's taking a little bit longer than i was thinking it would so for that i think then i can just kind of remove that stress from me right now and just move on and work on the things that i can control right now so i am going to be making an a5 bundle a disc bound bundle and the standard just normal hardcover planner option this morning I went through and I looked at the survey stuff again and it was just interesting. I mean, most of the stuff I pretty much have answered, but there were a few that I'm like, hmm, it had me kind of thinking. So I'm thinking maybe for the mid-year version next year, um, I might have some additional changes and stuff. And I'm thinking about doing one or two more things to the layout, even though I thought I was done. I'm thinking about doing one or two more things before I have to show these planners tomorrow and then I'm filming a flip through of them and taking pictures and all that so whenever i am doing any type of new product not even just planners but in general i always kind of follow this same process um if you haven't seen i have a six piece of product creation free like guide and there's a video that goes with it if you want to watch that so i'll make sure that's linked down below for you if you're trying to create your first product as well or just any product but right now i'm kind of in the phase of really getting to getting um, the sample created and the pictures and all of that stuff and then next week is going to be a lot more of like a tech week because it'll be actually launch week so me and my sister are going to work together to get the stuff on the website there's going to be quite a bit of it and this weekend i'm going to try to finalize bundle options and stuff like that because i do want to have some bundles i'm not doing nearly as much as i did last year but i am going to have a couple of options and then the way that i'm kind of helping myself now is mostly they'll just be planners that people can purchase unless they want to get additional things but then I'm going to do a really fun Black Friday sale that will be really cool to get like all the accessories to go with the planners um, and all of that stuff and by Black Friday I should definitely have them started to be shipped out so people already have been getting their planners by then so it'll be a cool way to kind of see like oh what can I use to go with it but um, a lot of work ahead so I'm gonna just kind of prop the camera up so you guys can kind of see what I'm working on and of course I will show you what's happening with everything but yeah this is kind of where we're at <laughs> So when you start getting into and this is why I always say to start 
This is why I always say to start with one thing because it can start to get a little confused with all of the different settings and just different nuances for each individual option that people can get when they're shopping with you. So this time around, I have like four different things that are going I, on. I always, uh, I, 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 I need boss mark. I got all the other things. You can do anything you can. Oh my goodness. You can. Oh my, <laughs> and I do it everything all on my can. You can. Can mommy talk real quick? Yeah. While you do anything? So I picked out one of my stationary muse journals that is not really for sale anymore. This was actually from a box that I did last year for Black Friday. Um, but I'm gonna actually use this notebook and I'm giving you the same suggestion, whether you do it on a file on your computer, you do it on a notebook, a piece of paper that you can refer oh. back to, a sticky note. And then what you'll do is write down all of your settings so that you're not confused. You don't forget anything. This oh, goes for... Likes the color all the eye. This goes for binding settings with the binding like I'm using all the, the cinch. Can you say the cinch? Cinch all the kind of this. The cinch or any other tool. Um, this goes for your laminator settings. This goes for your settings with your Cricut or your silhouette. Just have everything in one place so that it's not confusing and you're not like, oh, what did I do? What did I need to do for that again? Because it all starts to run together. <sighs> so yeah, I don't really know at all and I kind of am just like I'm kind of over it right now I really don't feel like doing too much extra with this because I know that this is not the right size don't take it personal 